um, but yet it can be very, very productive. Um, the I always like to say that you're going to get out of that plot what you put into it. Um, so if you use any of the products, actually, you're 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 going to get out of it what you put into it. Um, trying to establish any kind of food plot is better than not putting anything out. A lot of people, they think that, you know, a logging road might not be good for that. You've got a logging road or you've got a spot back in the timber where it might open up enough to where you might get three or four hours of sunlight a day. What I say is any spot that you have available to you, try to get some sort of plot established in it. Um, it, it will be, it's better than not having anything on that property. Some of the hunting ground that we have around here, we don't have access to a food plots, it's all open CRP and we can't plant anything there. Is there a specific product that you would recommend for planting and timber? Well, there's, uh, there's Game Changer Clover, um, Mini Max is a good one. The No Sweat is a good one. Uh, you're looking for a product that is pH tolerant. Um, it doesn't require a lot of sunlight and minimal tilling. Um, I've spoke to, I've done these these expos and these shows with Antler King for several years now, and I've I've asked a lot of the hunters um, and I have good friends of mine that say if they could if they were limited to just one blend of seed what would that be and the clover mixes that Antler King offers um, Mini Max is a huge one Mini Max is, has been around for many many years um, the owner of Antler King, his name is Todd, he's been doing it over 30 years. And Minimax has been one of the, probably, from what I've seen, the top seller of, from the company at these expos. So when you're talking about a product like the Minimax or the Trophy Clover or the Game Changer Clover, the good thing about those is once you plant those plots, once you establish that food plot, you've got a food plot that will come back for four or five or six years. The good thing about the clovers are they require minimal effort after you get them established. Uh, the clover will grow and what I always tell people is the more you mow it, the better. Now. Depending on your deer density, where your food plot is at, the deer most likely will keep the, those clover plots down to say four or five inches. Uh, a lot of people will call the office and say, my food plot is not growing. So what we recommend is for people to make an exclosure cage in the center of that food plot, take and drive in three wooden stakes and wrap it with chicken wire. So that that way, if you think that your food plot is not growing, then you can go back, you can look at that enclosure, and you can see that the plants inside of it might be 12 inches tall, 14 inches tall. The rest of the food plot might be four or five inches. Uh, with clover, um, it produces its own nitrogen. So if you see that clover plot or that plant starting to flower, that's when we recommend you get in there and mow it down. Mow it, keep it eight or nine inches tall. So you mow it down to eight or nine inches. After you do that, it's gonna be the most palatable for the deer. Um, it's going to produce the most food for the deer. So as that growing process from the time you mow it down while the time it's growing is when it is the absolute best for the deer. Um, once again, you don't have to have a, a a bush hog or a tractor. You can go in there and weed eat it. The more you mow clover, the thicker it's gonna grow. People will say that they might have issues with grasses growing in their clover. Uh, you can 
after you go in and mow it, uh, and those clover plants will, in a perfect world, they, they will grow enough that they'll choke out those grasses. Um, however, after you mow it, you can do a, use a fertilizer with a zero nitrogen, like a, a 0060 or a 51530, something like that. Uh, so you can fertilize the clover. Now, because the, the goal is to get that clover pot, plot growing so it almost looks like a lush green carpet, once that happens, then it will start to choke out the other, other grasses or anything that you might have growing in it. So minimal effort and you can have a wonderful plot that you're producing a ton of, of protein for the deer. Um, you plant it early in the season. So during that critical time of antler growth and, and then <clears throat> it just, clover is an all around great plot to plant for a deer food plot. And last question here, going off some of the Antler King products, what separates Antler King from everything else? Well, for me personally, and knowing Todd the owner, um, I know that it has been his passion. Um, every food plot seed, all their products have been tested I wouldn't say in every one of the states in the, the lower 48, but um, the, the, the blends, the food plot blends don't just work in Wisconsin. They don't just work in Iowa. We've got guys all over the place, upstate New York, uh, Virginia. Um, I know that Todd has, he spends countless hours testing the products, they send them out to people and they actually, they don't just do testing uh, in, a, in, a, in a lab or a warehouse, if you will. You know, they actually get the product out to the public or during the testing phase, they'll have guys plant them on their properties. Um, Todd has devoted his life to producing what I feel like is one of the best products or several products on the market. Um, they've got, the, as the Apple Burst Deer Block, they've got different flavored blocks. Um, their mineral, for example, uh, 27 different trace minerals in there. Um, it's, it's not just, how can I say this? You can attract, there, there's a lot of products on the market. And there's good products out there. I know I use what works for me. Um, there, you really have to look at the ingredients. Um, there's things like salt, for example, that salt will attract deer if you want to get a lot of good pictures in front of your trail camera. Um, I've had guys come up to me at the shows and they say, well, I'll just, I use a salt block that I use for my cows. Well, you're going to get pictures of deer if that's what you're after. But all I can say is check the ingredients because you, you want to try to give those deer as much, you want to try to make them as healthy as possible. And these products do that. And, and for me personally, yeah, I love to get pictures of good deer in front of my trail camera. But I also want to know that I'm doing my part to have a healthier deer herd you know, the mineral, for example, doesn't only grow big antlers, but it helps the does. You know, in those critical times when the does are pregnant, uh, that's when they need something like the trophy deer mineral that isn't just salt. You know, it's going to, it's going to, a healthy deer herd, that's what we're all after. Not only big antlers, but making our deer herd healthy and keeping the deer on our properties so that they don't have to go anywhere else. And once again, I know I love the products because they work for me. I've been fortunate enough to, to see the results year after year after using these products. Well, Steve, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your busy day Absolutely. to answer thank some you. questions for us. I also wanna thank Justin Steinlogge for allowing this to happen at Union Land Feed and Supply in West Union, Iowa. You can check out Union Land's 
and stock up on all your food plot, mineral, and attractant needs. They also offer tons of locally grown and food and products. And I want to thank you for watching Midwest Outdoors Edition.